Here's problem 10, 36. A uniform solid sphere rolls without slipping along a horizontal surface. What fraction of its total kinetic energy is in the form of a rotational kinetic energy about the center of mass? So the total kinetic energy of this sphere is going to equal its translational kinetic energy plus its rotational kinetic energy. And that's going to be one-half mass times velocity squared plus one-half moment of inertia times angular velocity squared. Well, the linear velocity is equal to the angular velocity times the radius to the surface of the sphere. That's going to be squared. The moment of inertia of a sphere is two-fifths mr squared times the angular velocity squared. So these twos here cancel out. And we can rewrite this. One half is going to be 0.5 m omega squared r squared plus one fifth is going to be 0.2 m omega squared r squared. So our total kinetic energy is going to be 0.7 times the mass omega squared r squared. Sounds good. So then the ratio of the rotational kinetic energy to the total kinetic energy is going to be 0.2 m omega squared r squared over 0.7 m omega squared r squared. <clears throat> the omega squares cancel out, the m's cancel out, the r squares cancel out. And this would be equal to 0.2 over 0.7, or we could say 2 sevenths. So the rotational portion of the total kinetic energy is 2 sevenths of the total.